Hello Rocket fans and welcome back to this weekly workshop review. Last Saturday kicked off by a very warm and friendly visit from John Horak, who serves as Neil Armstrong Chair in Aerospace at Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio. Having worked at NASA for 17 years before that, he was a great pleasure to talk to. After John left to get ready for his panel discussion later in the evening, we finished off with a bit of work on the astronaut seat. Martin cut out a few parts for the frame and started preparing them for assembly. He also brought in a 3D printed model of a guide block for a shock absorption mechanism. Then, as tradition goes, Thomas managed to assemble a few swirlers to run a water flow test. The injector as well as some elements are simply 3D printed and we can easily configure how many swirlers we want to test at one time. And here we have a cross section of one of the soldiered elements to see whether there are any gaps in our soldier joints. Lastly, Adrian was setting up and calibrating his load cell amplifier for eventual thrust measurements of his RCS nozzles. He also remade a new tank fitting for his RCS test rig. That is all we got on camera that day. So as always, thank you for watching and see you next time. Copenhagen Suborbitals is a non-profit all-volunteer project. The reason we are getting so close to reaching space on our speaker rocket is because all of our crowdfunding supporters. If you've been following this project and feel passionate about new ways of exploring space and building rockets, you can help us out by going over to our website www.compsub.com and becoming a supporter with a small monthly or one-time donation that helps us pay workshop rent and buy materials. And in return, you get all these insider videos on building a space program which you don't really get anywhere else. So on behalf of everybody at Copenhagen Suborbitals, thank you for your support and we'll see you next time.